This report is 22 pages and it gives seven recommendations, which includes accepting Weems's resignation and then pursuing permanent removal of him and his wife from any positions of authority with the church. This all stems from what the church says is financial fraud. Celebration Church releasing this investigation after more than 20 interviews with current and former senior leadership team members that suggest blurred lines between employees personal and professional lives, intimidation and misuse of funds by founder Stovall Weems. The report says Weems engaged in a series of improper and unauthorized financial transactions through which he personally benefited either directly or indirectly at the expense of the church. The investigation found the church was given a second Paycheck Protection Program or PPP loan of more than a million dollars during the pandemic, but none of that money was used for its intended purpose. The report alleges Weems Group LLC, which Weems is the sole member and manager, bought a home on the Nassau River in February 2021 for $855,000, then selling it to the church four months later for $1.2 million, which the report says the church's purchase of the property was not disclosed or approved by the church board. In February, Weems filed this lawsuit against the church, claiming when he tried to expose financial misappropriations by a church trustee, the board sought to unseat him for his role as a senior pastor as retaliation. The report says Weems and his wife refused to be interviewed for the church's investigation, but in his resignation letter last week, Weems wrote, I shall not and cannot be legally connected to any church in which the leadership abandons the clear biblical principles and scriptural qualifications for governance and oversight. The report also includes a recommendation to report the findings to appropriate authorities to determine if criminal charges should be brought. Weems, meantime, has announced he plans to stay in Jacksonville, where he and his wife will continue to pastor. More from him at 6. Robert Bradfield, First Coast News, on your side.